Hello, my name is Tomasz Jaszek, and in this video I will talk about solutions to the Fellowship of the Code challenge powered by Codility. The problem statement for this challenge is very short. We are giving a string s and we can transform it into another string using uh, at most k swaps of uh, adjacent letters. And the question is, what is a lexicographically minimum string we can um, uh, obtain using such a transformation? Let's analyze the first sample test. Since we want the resulting string to be lexicographically minimum, uh, first we need to make sure that the first letter of the resulting string is as small lexicographically as possible. The smallest letter in the string is A, so we can try to swap it to the first position. We would need three swaps to move this letter to the first position, and since three is smaller than four, uh, we can do this. We would get a string with letter A at the first position, and one remaining swap to use for the remaining letters. So now we will try to put as small letter as possible in the second position of the string. The smallest letter now is C, but unfortunately we cannot put it uh, after letter A, because that would need two swaps and we can afford only one. The only letter we can swap is E, but since it's bigger than D, it's not worth it. So we will leave letter D as the second letter and we move to the third one. Now one swap is enough to move letter C to the fourth position, so we do this. After this move we have no swaps left, so the resulting string is our answer. I think that this example should give us an insight to a working solution. Initially our answer will be empty and we will perform n steps where n is the uh, length of the string. In each step we'll try to append as small letter as possible to the answer. The key question is from which positions in the string is possible to move a letter to the uh, front. If we have four swaps it's possible to move uh, the letter from position 0 because then we don't make any swaps at all from position 1 because we then make one swap from position 2 two swaps and so on up to position 4 in which we need to make four swaps in other words we can use any letter in the range from 0 to minimum of k and n minus 1 so we'll choose the minimal lexicographically letter uh, from this range. And in the case of ties, where more letters are minimal, we will choose uh, the letter which is closer to the front, because for this letter, we will use smaller number of swaps. After making a choice, we append the letter to the answer, remove it uh, from the original string, and uh, we decrease the number of uh, uh, swaps uh, by the uh, actual number of swaps uh, we needed to, to make, so actually by the position of this letter. Note that after removal of the letter, the positions of the letters that followed it in the string have changed. So in the next step, we need to uh, consider the new positions. Once again, we select the smallest letter in the available region, we remove it and append it to uh, the result, and we decrease the number of uh, moves to make. Once the number k decreases to zero, in subsequent steps, we can only take the first uh, letter to the answer. And so on. What is the time complexity of this solution? Well, we have n steps, and in each step we need to take a minimum over the range, which length is bounded by k and by n, so this is O of n times minimum of n and k. And in terms of the length of the string alone, this is not bigger than n squared. Okay, I think we are ready for implementation. 
uh, first let's make a variable n equal to the length of the string and uh, at the start we put uh, uh, the our answer will be empty and we will make uh, our n steps and during the step we need to calculate the uh, minimum letter uh, in the range and also its position so uh, we'll keep a um, pairs uh, letter and uh, its position and such pairs will be compared first uh, by uh, uh, the letter and then the ties will be broken by the position um, so we'll uh, go for indices in range from 0 to minimal mm, of k and the length of the string uh, and we will update our minimal so the uh, minimal value is minimal of current value and uh, a pair mm, the letter in the position index and uh, this position. So at the end we will have our uh, character and the position of this character um, and uh, now we need to um, add this character to the answer. Uh, we need to remove um, this character from the string so since in Python strings are immutable we will just uh, create a new string uh, since our uh, since our mm, face here is uh, linear we can afford to create a, a new string here and we also need to rem uh, decrease the number of uh, uh, swaps remaining by uh, the position and at the end we return the answer okay compilation successful we have passed uh, the example test uh, unfortunately this uh, solution is too slow since n could be up to 100,000 so we will get points for correctness but not for performance in order to speed up our algorithm, we will find a faster way to select and erase the smallest letter in the available range. For selecting minimum letters, uh, we could uh, use some data structure uh, that supports finding uh, minimums in uh, prefixes. But this data structure must also support changes uh, to the string since we will be uh, raising letters. Since raising letters in the middle of the string quickly can be a little bit problematic, uh, we will use a different approach. Instead of physically removing this letter and shifting uh, the following letters uh, to the left, we will just mark that this letter is not available anymore. We can use an array in which we will put once for every letter which is available and zeros for every letter which is not available anymore. So now if we want to find a range uh, in which we will be looking for the minimal letter, uh, we need to find the smallest prefix which consists exactly k plus one once. To make sure that no removed letter is selected as a minimum, we can replace them with the maximal letter. Finally, after selecting some letter as a minimum, uh, updating the uh, array with zeros and ones, uh, and updating the arrays uh, with, uh, with letters, we must query how many ones are present before uh, this letter, so we know uh, by which amount we need to decrease the value of k. So our data structure must support the following operations. Find the length of the prefix containing uh, exactly m once. So in other words, the prefix of sum m. 
find a minimal letter in some prefix, update a letter and its corresponding number, and finally find the number of ones in a given prefix, so in other words calculate the sum of a prefix. It turns out that we can have a data structure in which all of the above operations can be implemented in time complexity of log n. And an example of such a data structure is a combination of two segment trees, uh, one for letters with operation minimum and one for numbers with operation sum. We have discussed the segment tree data structure in one of our previous videos concerning great code of challenge. So here we only quickly summarize that a segment tree is a full binary tree. In leaves of this tree, uh, we have information about the elements of the sequence. Um, in our case, uh, pairs, letters and positions. And in inner nodes, we have information for some ranges of length 2, 4, 8 and so on. And in our case, this is a minimal letter from every range. To update a tree after changing information in one of the leaves, uh, we must update all the nodes from this leaf to the root by recalculation the information in the node based on information in the left and right children. Since the height of the tree is logarithmic in terms of n, this update takes logarithmic time. To calculate the information in some arbitrary prefix, it's enough to merge information from the logarithmic number of nodes since the prefix can be covered using ranges corresponding to uh, nodes in such a way that on each level of the tree at most one node is used. This way we can find a minimal letter in a prefix and also calculate a sum in the prefix for a segment tree in which we have numbers 0 and 1 in the leaves and the sum of numbers in inner nodes. Finally, to find the prefix on a given sum, we can make a binary search from the root of the tree to the leaves. Every time when we are in a certain node of the tree, we look at the value of the lift child. If this value is smaller than m, then we recurse to the right child and decrease the value of m by the sum in the left child. On the other hand, if the sum uh, in the left child is at least as big as m, then we recurse to the left child. Finally, when we arrived in a leaf, we know that this is the last element of the prefix we are searching for. Once again, this operation is in logarithmic time. Overall, the time complexity of this solution is n log n. You can find my implementation following the link in the description of the video.